No. Good evening, everyone. Um, please excuse me for appearing in this rather second best form uh, on video because to my great regret, I can't be at the actual event. Uh, instead, I'm recording this from my little house in Milton Keynes, England, where it's cold, dark and rainy, uh, with the result that more than ever right now, I really do wish I was there. Uh, I'm Guy Russell and I wrote The Path Breakers. I'm not used to giving speeches, being the typical introverted writerly type of person. Uh, when I'm not being writerly, I'm working at the OU UK's Open University uh, as a statistician. So I'm still being uh, introverted, except with databases and charts and sums. And although I've won a couple of competitions before, I've either just walked on stage, shaken hands and waved, or not done anything. Uh, so please bear with me for my inexperience too. I've been writing stories since I was in primary school, but by my 20s I discovered literature with a capital L and theory with a capital T, so for at least 10 years my stories were completely incomprehensible. Uh, but ever since I've retained a fondness both for highbrow literary fiction and equally for genre. I think literary fiction to me... Uh, just making a common point here, feeds my interest in people and interactions and that strange and often comic disparity between the confident self we present to the world and the self that um, boils, quakes or is completely confused underneath. Whereas genre fiction best feeds my interest in bigger issues like the nature of society, the state of the world, the meaning of life, the enormity and weirdness of the universe and uh, science fiction in particular uh, does that kind of stuff really well. Uh, so when I came across the Blue White Dot competition, um, I think via one of those competition listing sites on the web, um, well actually I think first thought, oh, what a lovely and unusual title. I didn't realise at that point it was a quote from Carl Sagan. Um, and it's nice to have a go at competitions with themes. It makes you research new things, leads you in new directions. And this was a challenging one. Uh, the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Oh, a big subject for three and a half thousand words. A big subject. Um... But rather than focusing directly on technologies, politics or ethics, I was thinking about mindsets. And within mindsets, rather than setting up a standard debate between two positions, uh, I thought it might be more interesting to have the protagonists actually so divergent in their attitudes and values that they can barely communicate meaningfully. Uh, the Pathfinder couple's business speak and extreme focus on money is incomprehensible to Schwann, while her extreme lack of interest in such things make them assume wrongly that she isn't very bright. Nonetheless, mutual goodwill keeps them connected. And none of them are bad people as such. We gradually learn that the travelling couple are from a high-tech but socially and environmentally ruined world, while in hers, Schwann takes health education, clean energy, sustainability, peace and the rest for granted, or can barely imagine their lack. Uh, the planet looks idyllic to the couple, although they're confused and sometimes disdainful at its lack of consumerism and consider the inhabitants naive. It's steadily evident that they can't bring themselves to enjoy it, uh, but that their principal interest is in being first movers in its tourist development. Finally, we learn about the ominous destructiveness of the technology they use to power their spaceship. They fly away, hoping to eventually return and start their business, although the happiness, democracy and good sense of the planet's society and people give considerable hope, though no certainty that they won't succeed. So, uh, it's a biased piece of work, biased towards the values of the goals. Uh, and if it's a justification for that bias, it's to do with the focus on mindsets and communication. What happens uh, when you come across people for whom development and sustainability have little interest, who see little importance in them, or even who are actively antagonistic to them? Um, and goodwill might be the only thing that uh, keeps you connected. Anyway, I hope it's clear from the story that it was fun to write. 
Um, but much more importantly, I'm delighted that it's to be published so prestigiously. Uh, not for the prestige itself, well, OK, perhaps a bit, but for the book's chance to contribute in its small way to making the world the nicer place we all dream of, or, I mean, some of us dream of. Uh, can I please thank the judges? Uh, I'm honoured and amazed to have been chosen as the winner. And uh, can I thank all the friendly and kind editors and organisers at some way whom I've been emailing with over the last months, especially Ivan, Chong and Hanny, for their patience and enthusiasm. Cheers. <laughs>